Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the quick tree in Unreal with the Houdini engine. So when you click the tree and press G key, we actually see also a line that controls the tree. So with this line, I can manipulate where the tree goes. So this makes it quite easy to make specific custom trees, like this for example. Now here we have our parameters and at the top we have the game engine and I already want to set this to Unreal because we are working in Unreal of course. Then we have here our growing iteration. So by default is 3 and this is actually the recommended value I would say. We can lower this which will decrease the amount of branches. So and we've set this to 1 then we have a very low amount of branches and also my leaves don't really work with that nicely. So I'm going to set this back to 3. Then further here we have resolution values, which is actually the amount of polygons we are using. So changing these values will then increase the amount of polygons. We also have here the radius of our main branch. So if I increase this, we can see that this is going bigger. Then further we have here topples for the leaves, but let's just jump here to the branch options first. We have here the lift value. So if I would increase this, the branches will actually come closer to each other. So if I this high, you can see that they grow really close to each other. So if you want a tree that is more open, you can just keep the value lower. We also have here a twist, so we can twist the branches. So they are now more twisted on this side. Then further here we have the start and end position. So if I would increase the start value, you will see that my branch will now start growing from here instead from this area. So you can decide when certain branches should start growing. Then here at last we have the bend value, which branch will have a bend between these two angles. And also here at the bottom we have our main color. Then further here we come to the interesting settings, which are the leaves. So by default here we have the leaf chunks which is this low poly style. We can also here keep percentage, we can actually increase this. So if you want to have more polygons or you want to even have less polygons and make it a really low poly, you can increase that with this slider. You also have a seed value. So if you're not happy with the loop, you can have some small iterations on that. Then further here we also we have the color for the leaves. And also now let's use actually the other leaves. So I'm going to disable the chunks and we have actually then the leaf plane cards. You can use both at the same time if you would like to see that. So we have actually the low poly with some of the leaf cards in there. So, but let's just use the leaf cards only. So here at the top, we're going to have to fill in a material. So let's go to my materials. I have here my leaf. So I'm going to right click, copy reference. And I'm just going to paste that in here. And now we have that assigned here. So at the moment, I think my playing cards are a bit too small compared to my tree. So I'm going to go here to the uniform radius. I'm just increase this to maybe five. This was probably too much. I think this is a better value. Then also here we, we can increase the amount of leaf cards used. So at the moment, we are using around 100, so let's go to 300, and this gives already better results, but of course, increasing the body count. Then further, we can actually use this ramp to color our tree. So basically, with the shader and this ramp, I can control the coloring. So I used some techniques in the shader as well. You can see here that this ramp controls the coloring here. So if I would change that color, Let's say, let's set it to blue. We can have more variation here. And this is then the quick tree tool.